there. Hey there. That's not my intro. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. I'm Miley. We are still in the month of October, which means it's still my favorite time of year, spooky wooky season. In my last video, I put together 10 quick costumes of people or characters that I thought were relevant to 2020. I had so much fun with that last video that I thought I would continue on with this idea of the quick costume. But I changed it up a little bit. In this video, I put together five different looks and for the most part, the clothes really aren't going to be changing. I'm going to be wearing different variations of an all black outfit and the only thing that is going to be changing is my makeup. This is personally my favorite way to do a last minute costume. I am the queen of last minute costumes because in previous years I have either been working on a show or had clients that wanted Halloween makeup, leaving me little time to put together a costume for myself. And don't worry, I try to keep these makeup looks as beginner friendly as possible and I'll talk through some different variations and also different products you could use if you don't have the exact products I have. So without further ado, let's get started. For all of these looks, this is the base I am going to be working with and we'll just be adding black accessories. I have on a long sleeve black shirt and some high waisted black leggings. The first costume we have up is Catwoman. For this makeup look, I started off by doing a black smoky eye, and if you're a beginner and a little intimidated and don't want to do an actual smoky eye, you could take a gray eyeshadow and smudge that all over the lid. I think that would be just as effective. For this quick smoky eye I created, I started off by taking a gray eyeshadow and working that above my crease up towards my brow bone and really fluffing out those edges using my brush. To deepen the look, I added a black eyeshadow more on my lid, but extended it just above my crease. And to complete this quick smoky eye, I took a silver eyeshadow and put that on the inner part of my lid. We wouldn't be Catwoman without a winged cat eye, so I created a little triangle on the outer corner of my eye, and to give my eyes a more cat-like effect, I extended the lines on the inner corner of my eye. Once the eyes were done, it was time to make it look like I was wearing a mask. I have this face paint palette by CC Beauty that I use all the time for different face painting. But if you don't have face paint, you could always use black eyeliner and some black eyeshadow. To start this mask, I created a winged bat shape around each one of my eyes. I like to get the shape of the mask down first before I go in to fill in the rest of the area. Once that whole area was filled in, I set that black face paint with a black eyeshadow. We want to make sure that we are setting all liquid and cream makeup with a powder. You could also use a translucent powder, but I specifically like to use a black eyeshadow to keep that color intense. And to complete this mask, I took a water activated white face paint and painted little white stitches onto the mask. When it comes to white face paint, I like to use water activated because I find it to be the most opaque and the easiest to work with. And if you don't want to get a white face paint, NYX has a really great white liquid liner that you could use and would be really great for making these stitches. I finished off the makeup with a dark red lip and for the clothes I added some tall black boots and if you live in a colder climate you could also add a leather jacket. And now you're ready to fight crime or act like a weird cat girl. I'm probably stating the obvious, but you could pair this makeup with any black outfit. I did this makeup last year in my car after a full day of doing clients Halloween makeup and I was wearing a black dress and tights and it worked great and everyone loved my costume. Great posing, Miley. Okay, let's move on to the next look. Up next we have Spooky Scary Skeleton. 
For the makeup look, I started off by putting a lighter foundation all over my face. You could use a white face paint, but in the spirit of keeping this beginner friendly, I went with a lighter foundation. White face paint isn't the easiest to work with, and a light foundation really does work just as well. When it comes to working with dark colors, I like to build up my coloring, so I usually go in with a gray eyeshadow or a brown eyeshadow to get the shapes just right. This also creates more depth once you go in with the darkest shadow. For this skeleton makeup, I wanted to create a softer skeleton look and not have super defined lines, so a lot of the edges I blended out, but if there was areas I wanted to have a little bit more of a crisp line, I used a black liquid liner. And the black liquid liner I love to use for my face painting is from the dollar store. I don't ever use it on my eyes because it's kind of harsh and really tacky, but for face painting it's really great. I wanted to create more of an aged effect to this skeleton, so I started to use a brown eyeshadow and really diffuse the edges with a brown eyeshadow versus a gray or black eyeshadow. I also wanted to add a bit more of an expression to the makeup, so I drew some expression lines coming up from the eye area and through my eyebrows. And to create more depth, I added some lines up above my eyebrows and then blended those out with my finger. Before I got started drawing the teeth in, I wanted to make sure that the color from my lips was completely gone, so using a full coverage concealer, I put that all over my lips. And unlike the other areas where I built up the coloring for the lips, I wanted to start off with really crisp, clear lines, so I went right in with the liquid liner. And then I went over all of those lines with a black eyeshadow to diffuse the lines just a bit and then a brown eyeshadow to give a more aged effect. And after a few final touches, this makeup was complete. And for the clothes, I am wearing the exact same thing I did for Catwoman. The only thing I added was this black beanie to create more of a punky rocker vibe to this look. Next up, we have the Beret Girl from an extremely goofy movie, and if you haven't seen this movie, she's basically the stereotypical poet college girl wearing all black and a beret, but she's a dog, so this makes this look easy but also really distinct. For the eye makeup, I basically followed the same steps that I did for Catwoman. The only difference I did with the liner was I didn't extend that line on the inner corner. Then taking some black eyeshadow, I put that all over the tip of my nose to make myself look like a dog and finished off this look with a dark red lipstick. For the clothes, I ended up rolling up these leggings to be more at a capri length and then I switched my shoes to these black flats and of course added a beret because you can't be the beret girl without a beret. And now we get to experience some more lovely modeling from me. Okay, let's get on to the fourth look. Oh, we're dead again. For this vampire look, I started off by making my skin pale like I did for the skeleton makeup. A lot of times vampires are depicted as having red eye, so I did a red smoky eye to play on that. And I kept this smoky eye as simple as possible, taking a red and blending that up towards my brow and then taking a dark purple in the crease and a red sparkly color on the inner corners. And to hollow out my cheeks, I took a gray eyeshadow and contoured a line under my cheekbones. And to take up the spooky wookie level of this makeup look, I took a small brush and with that red eyeshadow, I made little squigglies coming from my eyes like veins. 
And just like with the previous look, I completed this makeup with a dark red lip, but once I was done applying the lipstick to my lips, I started to dab it down my face to make it look like this was blood coming out of my mouth, but the red color wasn't totally right. I wanted to make it look like dried blood, so I took some black eyeshadow and dabbed that at the corners of my mouth. And now I am ready to go out vampire style. Oh wait, vampires don't have a reflection. How embarrassing. Much better, now I'm ready to go out vampire style. For the clothes, I kept it just the same as I did from the first two looks with the boots and leather jacket. The only thing I did was finger comb my hair back and hairspray it in place. For the fifth and final look, I kept the eyes exactly the same as the vampire look, but just removed the face makeup, reapplied some foundation, and I was ready to start on this final look. The final makeup look I did was Freddy Krueger. I did this look a few years ago, but I was able to simplify the makeup a bit and also bring down the list of products that I used. Taking a light pink face paint from my CC Beauty palette, I began to make these teardrop shape marks all over my face and down my neck. And if you don't have face paint, you could also use a light pink lipstick. I then set all of these marks in place using a translucent powder before I moved on. And when I moved on, I took a light brown eyeshadow and began to add depth to each one of these marks. And to take it even further, I then took some black shadow and added a bit of black to each mark. To fill up the face more and create more of a burned look, I took a brown shadow and began to draw lines in between each one of the bigger marks. This helps create more depth, it fills the face, and creates more of that burned illusion. Once this was all complete, I set my whole face with a translucent powder and setting spray. And this makeup look was complete. For the clothes, I wore the exact same thing, the black face with the boots and the leather jacket, but I added a black fedora to complete this Freddy Krueger look. I had so much fun making this video guys, I really do love each one of these looks and I do have a list down below of all the products I used for each look if you're curious. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you know when I post, and make sure to watch out for my next video. It will be my final Halloween video for this year, and let's just say I'm having fun with some Disney characters. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!